I hope you guys are doing well now. Today I'm actually going to GI London. So I've got a three day coloured stone grading lab at the GI London campus. Now this is around 21 hours that I have to clock in and this is needed for the it's annoying glare there. So you know I need to really fix the lighting in this place. I mean I've got lighting all over the place but but it kind of what messes up but it's okay. It's all right for now. This is a three day course that you have to take if you want to become a gemologist. Now, of course, I'm doing my coloured stones at the moment as well, which is 18 months. So when I looked at YouTube, there was only like th one only other YouTube video on this lab. There's no one else, literally. I don't know why, especially in London. You know, no one's really documented this uh, process. So I'm like, let me document it. And there's one other person, of course, but it wasn't really a video. It was more of a slideshow kind of YouTube video. And I'm just going to be showing you exactly how the process is and what I learned. I might do that in another video, but I'm just going to show you exactly how uh, it's kind of a vlog, you know, vlogging my experience at the lab and taking you on the journey. The interesting thing about uh, gemstones is that you know if you want a gemstone to be worth a lot of money a lot of people don't realize is that the cut needs to be good the color needs to be good as well you know one slight color difference uh, either too dark for example or the color is too pink and you know that could mean thousands of pounds so it's very important to actually get uh, you know into a lab and actually see what the color uh, from an expert point of view you know see what kind of uh you know gain experience from them so it's really important to actually be at a lab the most interesting thing is, is the gi campus is actually like 20 minutes away from my uni not 20 like five minutes actually and it's 20 minutes away from hatton garden so it's it's quite far away in terms of where gemma is but uh it's interesting it's right next to the british museum so yeah let's go find it so that's gi london you can see right there very nice building it's quite big from inside as well. We're a bit early, so I'm gonna come back in like an hour and then uh, see how it goes. So here you can actually see, this is the bag that they've actually given me. It's a nice bag that you can actually just keep your stuff in. Um, let me show you what's inside. Okay, so I've taken the stuff out. Uh, there's certain things that I can't show you, such, such as sheets. Um, but I'll show you as much as I can. So you're given a GI colored description system. Now I'm not gonna show you inside, due to copyright reasons. Uh, you receive a colored stone grading manual again i can't show you inside if you study with the gi you can actually see what's inside and then here is the syllabus explaining exactly what the course is and how it's structured and you receive this pack which i'm going to open in a second so in the pack you receive a mag light now this is actually quite big compared to the gemme version you can see the gemme version is like really small compared to this this is like this is called a mini for some odd reason that should be called the extra small mini but the size and you can see the, the heaviness of this is much it's a much larger product and it's a good sturdy product as well i've used this a lot actually you know to look at stone but you know this is something else this call this has much more lights as well given i will like other lights as well like five ten different other lights but these are good quality of course uh the other lights that I do have are much higher gem grade uh, lights, but these do suffice, and it's a good light to have if you're a beginner as well. So next up, you've got a pencil, you've got a pen, okay, that's the card. This polishing cloth is actually very nice. The quality of the polishing cloth is like really good. 
So that's like the label with the GI on the other side. And uh, one side is like fuzzy inside, which is actually used to polish on the stone. And upside here is just normal, uh, a bit grained up. So here is the GIA uh, stone grader tray. And you just put the stone there and you, it can actually give you a indication of what the stone looks like. Because if you have it on your fingers, you're going to be misled into thinking the stone's a darker color when it's actually a lighter color. And here is the tweezers. Now, the crazy thing is I was actually going to order like a set of these and the tweezers, but it came with this uh course so yeah i might just stick around with these and they're not that bad i normally have my this i don't really use that much you know but this is my normal tweezers and it's got this good grip so it can lock into place as you can see there to be honest this is like a glove it fits to me this at the moment it's good it's not that bad and it's some really nice quality tweezers but it doesn't have the lock, so I might get one with the lock. But overall, grippability of the stone, and it's really good, flexible. I've realised a lot of the time, uh, tweezers are not really flexible, and it kind of like you need to be like this to be an extension of your hand, essentially. Because when you're picking up stones, you don't want it to be too sturdy, and when you're trying to pick up the stone, you know it kind of like over grips the stone or something. So when you let go of this, it literally lets go of the stone, just in case. It's a nice tool that they've given us really nice so that's what you get here and there are other sheets and stuff that i can't really show you due to copyright reasons and the other stuff that they've given us again i can't show you that if you study with the gia you can actually just see them just before i go off uh the thing is so today uh they've actually showed us a lot of gemstones which is quite interesting and very good stones as well so we've had like two three hours throughout the day actually you know a lot of hours actually today um but eight to around four or something but you can actually see oh you can't see i can see the amount of care these guys take with uh, explaining uh the system itself now we actually looked at like 20 30 stones each individually you know uh, lots of good links as well and uh the lab is really good you know and i will be explaining more stuff as we go on i'm extremely tired at the moment so i'm just gonna go to sleep and uh see you guys tomorrow in day number Two. Like an hour early, so just gonna walk around a bit, probably get a coffee, and then uh, go to GI London again. second day is over uh i'm extremely tired to be honest with you uh today was a bit challenging the stones that we looked at were gorgeous again but uh the thing is the tone and the saturation today i have to go home and just put that into my head properly and the brilliance of all the stone sometimes it kind of went off but uh apart from that we learned cut today so uh looking at the cut looking at if there's any abrasions uh pits in the stone the symmetry Again, touched on up on that as well. Uh, the clarity as well of the stone. So we actually used the, the microscopes, dark field uh, stereo microscopes to actually look at the inclusions inside the stones. And uh, of course the type. So emeralds like type three and aquamarines type one. And then depending on that, we made it clearer if that inclusion is uh, making the stone durable or not. So there's a lot of things. I mean, tomorrow we have a two hour one hour 30 minutes test and we've got 45 minutes per stone but i think my eyes are really tired at the moment literally just looking at stones all day and that eye the light kind of like plays on you tricks so i'm just gonna go home right now and i'm just gonna go rest and uh wake up early in the morning do a little bit of uh refreshing of the mind and then i'll see you guys tomorrow so today it's literally like 3 56 in the morning like i'm having my breakfast I'm just going to start studying a bit, looking at stuff. Uh, to be honest with you, in terms of the test, the only thing that I have to just make sure that I get correct is, I mean, the rest are not that hard. You can literally see it with your eyes. 
the color is okay it's the tone and the saturation and the brilliance these things are slightly subjective you know so i need to make sure that i'm objectively looking at the stone making sure that i've realized that when i have the light source right next to at the edge of the desk i tend to overthink what the actual uh <coughs> tone is or saturation it plays in my eyes so i'm going to put the light source a bit back from the desk uh, edge and then i'm going to uh work from there at a distance and look at it in the light source and out of the light source so i see you know if there's any big difference there and i can pick up on that so literally in an hour's time i'm just going to get ready and go to gi london and yeah Whew, last day at GI London. Kind of like, you know, uh, it's the last day, but then again, you know, this is one lab, so you've got like more labs coming after this, but, you know, interesting. It's been a very long uh, two days, so this is the third day, and it's going to finish early, but hopefully, 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 God willing, inshallah, we can get the letter of completion and get higher than 75%. And then we can come home happily. Yeah. So it's literally foggy outside right now, but yeah, let's head off to GI London. It looks much worse in real life, to be honest with you. In the camera, it's like not that fuzzy. Let's head off to GI London for the final day. So again, we're like 30 minutes early and I'm just gonna go get coffee again, like the other days. But to be honest, to be honest today, uh, I'm gonna try not eat anything at the moment because you know, when you start eating something, your brain diverts all the blood flow to the gut. You know, this is why I had at three o'clock I had my breakfast and all that is gonna be fueling. The time when I'm actually in the exam, that's when my brain's gonna be sharpest. Because if you eat now, you know, even next to the exam, what's going to happen is that your brain is not going to get optimal blood flow. I know it sounds crazy, but this is how your body functions, you know. Whenever you eat something heavy, especially, or even something like a high carbohydrate, anything like that, or any meal, watch, you you will instantly feel sleepy. It's because all that, you know, energy is being diverted to your gut to actually help it digest. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. And uh, yeah, last day. got 100 percent crazy uh so we finished off with uh, looking at cut stones uh in mounted in jewelry and phenomenal gemstones and how to actually calculate the gemstone sizes in mounted in uh the jewelry pieces thing is it was interesting uh the test was really hard i'm not gonna lie uh 100 still you know great instructions by the way and uh yeah so one thing you need to be confident in when you're grading the stone and so when we started off the day today we had like a uh, two hour-ish kind of lab and then we were actually looking at a lot of stones and what i did a little different is that i picked up the stone and instead of uh, writing everything down on the sheet i was like i know this pretty well the symmetry and all that i know about the cutting and all this so let me focus on the stuff that i'm not sure on so the brilliance and stuff so i'll literally pick the stone up uh, look at it and I'm like, okay, 45% brilliant. Or the tone is this, this, this. And then I'll straight away look at the marking, you know? And then I'm like, okay, that stone is, I'll realign my understanding of it. And then uh, I'll keep going, keep going, keep going. So overall, it's an amazing experience. And I will be going back to the GI, of course. I have to do my other labs, you know, but the grading is out the way. Uh, very important. So we looked at uh, looking at money, uh, retail value, and costs and all that as well, you know? which is very important um, looking at the top quality as well what is considered a top quality gemstone 
as well. And there's so many other things as well, you know. At the moment, I'm just completely tired and I'm just gonna go home and sleep until like tomorrow. <laughs> and I've got university, you know. So, uh, see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have liked this uh, explanation over the three days of how it works because I didn't really see anyone doing it. So, uh, other than one person, but it wasn't really a video, you know. So, uh, thank you, GI London again. Uh, great instructors. And now I understand how to quality check a gemstone much better than before and to be honest I think uh, my I don't want to say it's experience I think I've been looking at gemstones for a long time you know even with my gem candy London you know website I have a website you know and jewelry I'm very very strict in terms of looking at a gemstone and maybe that's helped me a bit and color so I, one thing I actually prioritize is actually making sure that the color is correct when the customer is looking at it uh, on the online so if it's a little reddish i'll say it's a little reddish and i'll correctly say uh the color and everything so you know that helps as well confidence is key you know but uh yeah overall very good experience and see you guys in